Hi, I'm Tiffany, the head of marketing at Clickso and your host for today's story time. Today's story time is extra special because it is also the Lunar New Year. Each Lunar New Year is marked by the beginning of a brand new animal year. And these come in a cycle of 12 different animals that make up the Chinese zodiac. The story of how these 12 animals came to be in the Chinese zodiac has been told in various ways in many different parts of Asia. And I personally grew up with many of these stories. Today, I'm super, super excited to share with you a little bit of my culture through the story of the great race and the magic of Klixo. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's story time. Long ago, the Jade Emperor decided that there needed to be a way to measure time. He created a cycle of 12 years and decided that each year should be represented by an animal. He sent a message to all the creatures in the land and announced that there would be a great race. The first 12 animals to cross a mighty river and reach the emperor would have the honor of representing one of these 12 years. On the day of the race, the rat woke up and raced towards the river. When it got to the water's edge, it found that the current was too strong and it would be swept away if it tried to swim across. Just then, the ox approached the water. The strong and sturdy ox agreed to carry the rat on its back as it crossed the water. But as soon as they got to the other side, the sneaky rat jumped down and raced towards the emperor, becoming the first animal to cross the finish line and the first animal sign of the zodiac. The ox came in second, followed by the tiger, who had struggled with the currents but used its strength to cross the river. The rabbit, not strong enough to swim in the current, hopped from stone to stone. Halfway across, it nearly fell into the water, but was able to hop onto a log which was blown by a strong wind safely to the other side. The next animal to make it across was the dragon. The emperor, knowing of the dragon's speed, was a little confused and asked the dragon why it did not come sooner. The dragon explained that as it was flying over the river, it spotted the poor rabbit trapped upon a log. So the dragon secretly decided to help the rabbit along by blowing a gentle gust of wind and allowing the log to reach the shore. The emperor commended the dragon for its kind and selfless behavior and named it the fifth animal of the zodiac. Suddenly, there came the horse galloping out of the water. But just as it was about to reach the emperor, the snake, who had been secretly wrapped around the horse's leg, slowly <laughs> off. The startled horse bucked back, and the snake sneakily snuck into sixth place, followed by the horse. The next animals to arrive were the goat, the monkey, and the rooster, who floated in together on a raft that they found on the other side of the river. The emperor was pleased to see their teamwork. The 11th animal to show up was the dog, who could have been first, but was busy playing in the water and chasing its tail. The final animal to arrive was the pig, who started at the same time as the rat, but stopped to eat and then took a mid-race nap. And this is how these 12 animals became part of the Chinese zodiac. The end. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's story time. I hope you enjoyed seeing Clixo creatures come to life in the story of the great race. We hope you will join us for future story times. If you have any favorite builds or favorite animals or a suggestion on a future story time that you'd love to see, please feel free to leave us a comment down below or email us at hello at We would really love to hear from you. Thanks again and bye. Have a great day.